the big variable is storm surge. Why was it important for you to be here? Why don't we do a special from Dollywood? I just want to spread a little about magic. My hooves are just killing me. I bet. <laughs> Northland Basement Systems is the all things basementy company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. If your family struggles with food insecurity, call the Family Food Helpline. Straight ahead, an effort to boost ATV and snowmobiling near Tomahawk will meet the man increasing access to a local trail. Plus, Wisconsin's Attorney General has challenged the state's abortion ban. We'll hear why some prosecutors want to dismiss that lawsuit. And a national railroad strike has been averted. We'll have the details as your local news starts right now. News Watch 12 with Dan Hagen, Jessica Jukic, and Jeff Weller. Good evening and welcome to News Watch 12 at 6. I'm Dan Hagen. And I'm Jessica Jukic. It's not every day that motorists on the trails get to settle down at a stop right at the trailhead for the night. Usually a day on the trails ends with a commute. But soon there will be an easier option for riders in the Harrison Hills area near Tomahawk. The Tomahawk Inn brings the trail right to the riders. News Watch tells Matt Weaver spoke with the group constructing on the property and has more, Matt. Well, that's right, Dan. At any given time, the trails within the hills of Harrison can be filled with hundreds of ATV and UTV riders. Now, avid motorists can park their trailers and head off into the races. This will have a Brian Bella and his wife had a vision. We said, hey, one day we'll wouldn't it be neat to buy that? And so they did. I think it's kind of charming to have a converted gas station and turn it into a motor lodge. In the hills of Harrison, work on the Tomahawk Inn is well underway. What was once a local pit stop will soon become a haven for riders. It's a perfect spot for doing exactly what I think is lacking here in its lodging. Off of County Highway B, the inn will sit across from the Winding Trail Bar and Grill along the local routes. We plan on working together to keep the trail system kind of lively, make this a destinational point for people. It's hard for people to just come out here and make that trek just for one tavern. If you could start here, maybe they're going to explore and go more into the other trail systems. After drawing it up a few times, the Baumas decided on three suites that offer the works. You have ideas of how you want it to go. It took a couple times to be in the building here to really go over it and walk through it uh, to decide the layout for it. Bauma is certain that this year-round getaway will be a hit. They come out here to ride these trails. It's kind of a hidden niche out here, but once you find it, people come back every year. Fittingly, that County Highway B is on the Harley Registry for Scenic Rides. Bauma told me that he expects to open the stop next spring. Thank you, Matt. It's cool and a little windy out there still. Yeah, wind gusts near 25 miles per hour today. Yesterday they were near 45, but yeah, still kind of breezy, right? We need some more snow, though, for those snowmobilers We could out use there. some more. An yeah. inch of snow maybe tomorrow night, followed by some more on Tuesday. A very active pattern, but we need temperatures that can support snow. We're not going to have that tomorrow with high temperatures back in the upper 30s to low 40s tomorrow. Today, though, we're back in the 20s. That's an improvement, right? Uh, after we started off near zero this morning, recovering into the upper 20s to low 30s for highs today. We'll be even warmer tomorrow. Right now, the winds out of the south around 10 miles per hour. That's a change from yesterday. Out of the west yesterday, south today. Uh, that's what's coming our way for tonight and tomorrow. Then warmer temperatures are on the way. Also, some clouds, right? So clouds are like a blanket in the atmosphere. They give you warmer temperatures. We'll keep those clouds around tonight. And then the cold front gets in here tomorrow evening. That's that guy right there. That could bring us a little bit of light snow tomorrow night. Let's walk you through it. So the front's going to approach the area tomorrow ahead of the front. We're going to kick up a south wind. It could gust near 25 miles per hour tomorrow out of the south. And then tomorrow evening, here's 11 o'clock or so with some light snow in the area. Our forecast then tonight, though, is partly cloudy skies, so mostly cloudy skies. The low temperature's down near 21. Your full forecast is coming up. Dan, Jessica. In November, Oneida County law enforcement arrested four people on allegations they were distributing meth from a Mexican drug cartel. 
A fifth suspect is still at large. The sheriff's office is reminding people to look out for 35-year-old Ben Summers. If you have any information, call the number on your screen to get to the Oneida County Sheriff's Office. The other four suspects are being held in the Oneida County Jail. Investigators said the suspects distributed approximately 10 pounds of meth in northern Wisconsin. A group of prosecutors is asking a judge to toss out Democratic Attorney General Josh Call's lawsuit challenging Wisconsin's 173-year-old abortion ban. The group is arguing that the lawsuit lacks legal merit and that there's no weight to assertions that is that it is unenforceable because of its age. District attorneys from Milwaukee, Dane, and Sheboygan counties filed separate motions late Wednesday to dismiss the case. All three argued the lawsuit seeks to improperly restrict prosecutorial discretion and that Call lacks standing to sue because he hasn't been personally harmed by the ban. Dane County Circuit Judge Diane Schlipper has given all parties in the case until February 6th to file briefs expanding their stances. The EPA is proposing the U.S. to add more biofuel to its gasoline in coming years. It released the proposal Thursday as part of its Renewable Fuel Standard Program. The EPA estimates that adding more biofuel to the nation's gasoline supply for the next three years would reduce U.S. oil imports by up to 180,000 barrels per year. And that biofuel that I mentioned is made up of ethanol and other sources like from animal fats or methane from dairy farms and landfills. These products could also slightly reduce greenhouse gas emissions from gasoline. Mortgage rates have dropped again for the third straight week. Freddie Mac reported the average 30-year fixed rate mortgage was down nearly a percent in the week ending Thursday when compared to the week before. Mortgage rates rose throughout most of 2022, but in the last couple of weeks they have fallen as speculation increased that inflation may have finally reached its peak. Wednesday, the Fed chairman said it could start pulling back on the pace of its aggressive rate hikes this month. U.S. Senate voted today to approve a House-passed resolution to end the threat of a rail strike. Before that happened, the Senate defeated a measure backed by progressives to offer paid sick leave. Instead, senators moved to overwhelmingly approve a House bill that left out that benefit. It comes after a grave warning from President Joe Biden about the economic danger posed by a strike. On this vote, the yeas are 80, the nays are 15, one senator responded present. Under the previous order requiring 60 votes for the passage of this joint resolution, the joint resolution is passed. Now the bill will immediately go to President Joe Biden's desk to be signed into law. Wisconsin Senator Tammy Baldwin voted for the bill and blamed the greed of railroad bosses for that potential strike. The Milwaukee Bucks are getting a key piece back this week. And a nonprofit is giving homeless in Rhinelander a helping hand. That's after Weather with Jeff right here on Newswatch 12. Newswatch 12 is brought to you by Bone and Joint Walk In Care. Culligan Water delivers from your first call to your first sip to your first soak. Culligan, give us a tap. The only water that comes with a van. There are still too many bad burgers out there. So Arby's is running that Wagyu Steakhouse burger back. Arby's, we have the meat. The $10 million diamond event from Wickersham Jewelry. The year's largest selection of diamonds and diamond jewelry. Every shape, every quality, every budget. With the season's biggest savings, December 1st through the 3rd. A free appraisal with purchase. Take advantage of interest-free financing. The absolute best selection in prices of the year. December 1st through the 3rd. Only at Wickersham Jewelry. If you can dream it, we can make it. Why don't we do a special from Dollywood? Well, if anyone can pull that off, it's you. The biggest Christmassy show. Now that it's showtime... I just want to spread a little about magic. Are, My hooves are just killing me. I bet. <laughs> 
Here is your News Watch 12 Ski and Board Report, brought to you by Ski Rule. saw the ski report there and the resorts are opening as we do have lots of cold temperatures across the area settling in except for tomorrow where we're going to have high temperatures back in the upper 30s low 40s but this morning we had lows down near one in Rocklander and three below in Phillips it was a cold start to our day today it will not be this cold for us tonight okay right now though our highest today 27 here in Rhinelander, 29 from Marshfield even a couple low 30s across central Wisconsin today courtesy of a south wind that kicked in this morning bringing those warmer temperatures across the area. Right now, that south wind is still with us. So tomorrow, we'll also have a south wind in there. It's going to get a little brisky, too, uh, with uh, wind gusts tomorrow near 25 miles per hour as a front approaches from the west. Uh, and that front's going to come through with earnest tomorrow night and really change our lives for us on Saturday and Sunday. Okay, there is warmer air to the west of us. Not a lot warmer, but somewhat warmer. There's 40s across the plains today. Uh, a couple of you could easily do 40 tomorrow. It's going to be a stretch for most of us, but over Overall, a much warmer day tomorrow. We'll melt a little bit of snow out there before we get a little snow back in the forecast tomorrow night. The average high is now 32. The average low is 16. Look at that record low, 18 below back in 1919. That was a long time ago. And the sun set earlier at 416. All right, so here we go, temperature-wise. 38 tomorrow. A couple of you will do 40 tomorrow, followed by, that's different, right? 14 is our forecast at high temperature on Saturday, meaning many of you could spend much of the day in the single digits. A bit warmer for us Sunday, Monday. But overall, a trend changer now as we're gearing below average temperatures once again into the middle portions of next week. All right, out there today, increasing clouds pretty much all day long. If the clouds do like a blanket in the atmosphere, it'll keep us a bit warmer tonight. And those clouds will eventually lead to something. And that's basically going to be some light drizzle tomorrow or some light snow tomorrow night. Most likely some light snow across the area tomorrow evening. As there's a cold front right in there, that's moving our direction. That'll bring us some snow snow tomorrow night. Let's walk you through it. Here's that front out there now across the Dakotas that is moving in our direction for tomorrow, likely arriving after sunset tomorrow evening. So we're going to add a little bit of snow to the snow deck tomorrow, the weather deck out there tomorrow, as we do have some light snow back in the forecast. Not a lot, just a little, likely arriving 8, 9 o'clock tomorrow night and lingering through about midnight or so. And the snow amounts will look like this. So we're not talking about the big one here. We're talking less than an inch for most locations, generally north of Highway 10. But a couple of you along the UP border could do an intro to late tomorrow evening. All right, our forecast then for tomorrow, we're talking about temperatures up near 40, lots of cloud cover tomorrow. Uh, there will be a little bit of sunshine there overall, though, a mostly cloudy day for us tomorrow. Further south, though, we're talking about low to mid 40s across parts of Adams County. But again, that's for one day only. That front's going to come through tomorrow night and really change our lives for Saturday. Our forecast then for tonight, though, is partly cloudy skies to mostly cloudy skies. Look for low temperatures, not as cold, with low temperatures down near 21 and a south when they could still gust near 25, kind of rattling your windows tonight. For tomorrow, mostly cloudy and windy again. High temperatures reaching for 40 will probably stop just short with that south wind gusting near 30 throughout the afternoon. And then looking ahead, your seven-day forecast by Northwoods Furniture and Mattress shows tomorrow up near 40. But look at Saturday, a high of 14, low temperatures, single digits, uh, some recovery Sunday to Monday. Our next chance for snow after tomorrow evening is Monday and then again on Wednesday of next week. Dan, Jessica. Thanks, Jeff. High school winter sports are in full force today with some Northern Lakes Conference girls basketball games going on. One of those key matchups is Elko hosting Florence. Newswatch 12's Saul Meyer is in Elko right now to give us an update on that game. Saul? That's right, Dan and Jessica. I'm here at Elko High School where the Hornets game against Florence tipped off just a few minutes ago. Elko won their first game of the season on Tuesday, so they're looking to capitalize off of that momentum and start themselves a winning streak. But Florence is no joke. They're sitting at 2-1 and one on the year and are coming off of an impressive 35-point win against North Dickinson on Monday. And the player to keep an eye on for this game has to be Il Isabella Milan, who is averaging 18.7 points per game for Florence this season. 
We'll have full highlights from this game later on tonight at 10. Reporting here live in Elko, I'm Saul Meyer, Newswatch 12. Thanks, Saul. The Bucks are one of the hottest teams in the NBA right now, and they are likely to get even better with the return of an all-star. Chris Middleton is returning after missing the first 20 games of the 2022 season. Middleton hasn't played since an MCL sprain in Game 2 of the opening round of last year's Eastern Conference playoffs. Middleton is coming off his third All-Star season, where he averaged 20 points, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists per game. Today, the Nath Frederick Place and Ryan Lander held their annual Stuff a Truck donation drive. It's a way for the area homeless shelter to stay self-sufficient and achieve their goal of providing a safe place for homeless residents. The drive collected items including toilet paper, soup, and other essential items that the shelter needs to operate year-round. Volunteer and board member Douglas Nelson says it's a great way for the community to help out. But it's just a chance to, uh, to do something good, connect with the community, and um, share, share a little, you know, little Christmas joy. Nelson says the donation drive goes a long way with many of the collected items being stored ready for use throughout the year. We have to be able to provide for the needs of the house, and this gives us a long way to storing up goods that can take us through most of the year. Of course, the shelter is always in need of donations. If you would like to help out, you can make a monetary donation by visiting their website, nathnorthwoods.com. It is the season of giving, but some scammers see it as the season of taking, with a new scam becoming more popular. A message claims that there are issues with your shipping address and asks for credit card information to pay for a redelivery. The site looks legitimate until you glance at the URL listed as USPCCN.com, which is not official and pulls up no results as a URL. Also, a familiar foe is back, Porch Pirates. Criminals will follow around UPS and FedEx trucks and others just to see where they're dropping off boxes. Have them delivered to your place of business or elsewhere um, during the holiday season. Keep an eye out for yourself and your neighbors during this holiday season. A group of World War II veterans received medals today from a president, but not the one you're thinking of. After the break, we'll tell you why these former service members were honored by the French. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Furniture and Appliance Mart. Furniture and Appliance Mart's Black Friday sale is ending soon. Save big on furniture doorbusters, now up to 68% off. Plus, 60-month special financing, no minimum and no money down. Hurry in before these savings are gone at Furniture and Appliance Mart. You have dreams to visit your grandkids, to start a small business, to spend time on the lake. The cost of a good health care plan should support those dreams, whatever they may be. They're your dreams. We're just here to help you live them. Aspirus Health Plan, a great plan for your best life. At Lakeside Living Design, we've always got something stylish in store for you. Whether you're looking for high-quality custom upholstery, decorative accessories and gifts, or are designing your space entirely from scratch, you'll have a friendly designer by your side sharing their expertise, helping you bring your unique style to life. So stop by, explore our showroom, and together we'll make your space feel just like home. Nobody has more used trucks all on one lot, all price to move. So when you're ready to buy your next truck, know that all Lens trucks are fully inspected, certified clean, and can be bought hassle-free online. Go now to LensTruck.com. You'll find over 800 used trucks, all price to move. We got the trucks at Lens Truck. Need a new boat or outboard? Then it's time to trade and upgrade with Honda Marine and American Marine and Motorsports because we need your old boat. We need to buy fishing boats, pontoons, and speed boats. So trade in your old one and upgrade into a new boat today. Come check out more boats and pontoons in stock than anywhere else in Wisconsin. Or we could help get you top dollar by selling your old boat on consignment. It's time to trade and upgrade. 
with Honda Marine and American Marine and Motorsports, Sean O. Furniture and Appliance Mart's Black Friday sale is ending soon. Save big on furniture door busters, now up to 68% off. Plus, 60-month special financing, no minimum and no money down. Hurry in before these savings are gone at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Brought to you by Lockview Desire Health Center, Eagle River, and Waters Meat. A group of World War II veterans received a very special honor from French President Emmanuel Macron in D.C. last night. Mr. Macron bestowed his country's highest honor on the veterans. Darcy Spencer reports on the tribute that was held at the French Embassy. Oh, yeah. Good to meet you. I'm happy to be here. They are nearly 100 years old, World War II veterans and now knights in the French Legion of Honor. Medals awarded to them by France's own president, Emmanuel Macron, a thanks for helping liberate his country during the war. Thank you. Samuel Davis, 98 years old. He says getting his medal was a wonderful experience. Everything. It really means everything. I never talked about the war, but this, this is it. Thank you so very much uh, for everything, and it's a pleasure to be here. And Carl Felton, 96 years old, keeping in mind those who never made it home. It was a highlight. The honor of having that bestowed upon me was a very, 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 very humbling and very make me so aware of so many, many, many people lost their lives. Monsieur Carl Felton. Both men live in Frederick County, Maryland. They were among the veterans recognized at a ceremony at the French Embassy in D.C. This is an honor which I feel is shared by all people, men and women, who served our country during the time of the war and thereafter. Never had a medal in my life before. It's different. <laughs> I'm proud of it, and I'm proud of Fred's. And France's leader clearly proud of them, bestowing the nation's highest honor to those who fought and risked their lives for freedom. Ready, Dad? All charged up. This holiday season, Ford wants to help you shine bright with a special offer on select Ford vehicles. Choose a vehicle in stock or simply place a custom order. Lock in your rate and you're protected, even if rates go up before your order comes in. So much. And that's how Ford is helping you shine bright. This season, choose Flex Buy on a 2022 Escape or Edge SUV and get 0% financing for 66 months at your local Ford dealer. And shine bright. Goodwill starts with you this holiday season. As you get ready to open your door to family and friends, shop Goodwill for great deals on festive decor, one-of-a-kind outfits, and do-it-yourself gift supplies, perfect for any holiday gathering. You'll also be opening the door to job training and opportunities for neighbors in our community. Your purchases and donations save items from the landfill and keep the holiday spirit alive all year round. Goodwill starts with you. Hi, I'm Dr. Justin Sher, DC with the Spinal Aid Center of Wausau. Are you one of the millions of people suffering with the symptoms of peripheral neuropathy? Your symptoms may include numbness and tingling in your feet or hands, difficulty sleeping from leg or foot discomfort, and debilitating balance problems. I have good news for you. You can now get relief with our breakthrough treatment method without the use of drugs or surgery. Our treatments help to heal damaged nerves that cause peripheral neuropathy. If left untreated, you may eventually end up with a walker or wheelchair, so don't delay. Call our office now to schedule an appointment to see if our treatment methods are right for you. We will do a painless neuropathy severity exam to determine the amount of nerve loss. If you qualify for our treatment, it can truly change your life. Start living your life pain-free. Call today.
From smoke and carbon monoxide alarms to fire extinguishers and more, Kita Home Safety Products help keep your family protected when it matters most. Save big money on Kita Home Safety Products. Make your home safer and smarter with Fight Electric. Video doorbell systems let you monitor home activity from anywhere with a smartphone or tablet. Save big money on Fight Electric smart home products now at Menards. Plus, a Menards gift card is always a great gift idea. I'm having some second thoughts about what I'm about to show you. I may have crossed a line with this Oh, uh, you know, it's dinner time, yes, but okay, here we go. If you don't like a frozen frog on your TV Turn screen, away. you might want to switch to one of the other channels. I'm sure they're doing <laughs> great things. But let's take a look at this. So I, I saw this on my lake. Uh -huh. This frog was just frozen, suspended mid-jump. An animal came later to nibble on it, but it just kind of blows my mind. How could this frog just be frozen, like mid lurch isn't that strange to you guys it looks like someone stepped on him and then he froze no the lake. i don't think so because this is like the first day that the lake froze up in arborvita so right, it was Paul, like jumping off the tv no i don't want to do weather <laughs> i want to talk i want to get to the bottom of this you want to find out why the frog froze in the lake let's ask our floor director derek he knows everything <laughs> derek what do you derek? think about this don't <laughs> he has a whiteboard but <laughs> he's got a whiteboard oh man <laughs> can we talk weather for just a second and talk about the frog mm -hmm. the frog yeah. is going to keep chilling for a while because we have colder temperatures on the way but not tomorrow highs back up near 40 because we kick in a south wind uh we're hanging out in the 20s now we'll have lows tonight pretty much near 20 and then tomorrow a nice recovery back up near 40 with we'll some snow followed by a big change on saturday we can hold high temperatures in the low teens on saturday maybe afternoon. our froggy friend will thaw Tomorrow and come back. Frank will thaw. Probably not. Four times fast. Thank you, Jeff. That's all the time we have. We'll see you back here at 10. Mr. Food Test Kitchen is brought to you by Golden Carrot Jewelers and Creative Kitchen and Bath Studio. Over the next couple of weeks, we'll be making homemade goodies to ship to loved ones all over the country. Let me share a few of my favorite tips and tricks to help make sure that everything arrives safe and sound. Before you get started, you want to consider what type of goodies ship best. One option is cookies. You want to go with ones that